Good day everyone, so today we're going to dive into an important decision that many entrepreneurs face when starting a business. So choosing between a sole proprietorship and a corporation. Both structures have their unique advantages and disadvantages. And the choice you make can significantly impact your business's operations, taxes, and liability. So let's explore why someone might choose a sole proprietorship over a corporation, weighing the pros and cons of each. So let's start with the basics. A sole proprietorship is the simplest and most common form of business ownership. It's an unincorporated business owned and run by one individual with no distinction between the owner and the business. So this simplicity makes it an attractive option for many new entrepreneurs. So what are the pros of sole proprietorship? Number one is ease of formation. So one of the biggest advantages of a sole proprietorship is how easy it is to set up. There are minimal legal formalities, and in most cases, you only need to register your business name and secure the necessary licenses. So this simplicity can save you time and money, allowing you to start operating quickly. Second is complete control. As a sole proprietor, you have a full control over every aspect of your business. You make all decisions from marketing strategies to day-to-day -day operations. So this autonomy is appealing if you have a clear vision for your business and want the freedom to execute it without interference. Third is tax benefits. In a sole proprietorship, your business income is reported on your personal tax return and your tax at your individual income tax rate. So this can simplify your tax filing process and may result in lower overall taxes, especially in the early stages of your business when profits might be modest. Number four is direct access to profits. So since you are a sole owner, all profits generated by the business go directly to you. So there's no need to share profits with shareholders or partners, which can be a significant advantage if your business is successful. Number five is lower cost. So because sole proprietorship is simpler to establish and operate, the costs associated with running the business are generally lower. You won't have to worry about corporate taxes, complex accounting, or compliance with corporate regulations. So now let's now discuss the cons of sole proprietorship. Number one is unlimited liability. So the most significant drawback of a sole proprietorship is that you are personally liable for all business debts and obligations. If your business incurs debt or is sued, your personal assets including your home and savings could be at risk. This unlimited liability is a serious consideration, especially if your business involves substantial risk. Number two is limited capital. As a sole proprietor, raising capital can be challenging. You rely primarily on personal funds or loans as you cannot issue shares or attract investors in the same way a corporation can. So this limitation can hinder growth if you need significant capital to expand your business. Number three is limited lifespan. So the lifespan of a sole proprietorship is directly tied to the owner. If something happens to you, the business may cease to exist unless it is sold or transferred to someone else. So this lack of continuity can be a concern for those looking to build a long-lasting business. Number four is perceived lack of credibility. In some industries, a sole proprietorship may be viewed as a less credible or established compared to a corporation. So this perception can impact your ability to attract clients, customers, or business partners. So in the next segment, let's discuss understanding corporation. A corporation is a legal entity separate from its owners. Who are the shareholders? It can own assets, incur liabilities, and conduct business in its own name. So let's discuss the pros of corporation. Number one is limited liability. So the most significant advantage of a corporation is limited liability. As a shareholder, your personal assets are protected and you're only liable up to the amount of your investment in this corporation. This protection is a major reason why many entrepreneurs choose to incorporate. Second is access to capital. So corporations uh, have more options for raising capital. They can issue shares to attract investors, which can provide substantial funding for growth and expansion. 
This access to capital is crucial for businesses that require significant investment. Number three is perpetual existence. Unlike a sole proprietorship, a corporation has a perpetual existence. It continues to exist even if the owner or shareholders change. This continuity can be important if you want to build a business that lasts for generations. Number four is credibility and prestige. So corporations are often perceived as more credible and established, which can help in attracting clients, customers, and business partners. The formal structure of a corporation can also provide more opportunities for business development. Number five is tax flexibility. So corporations have more tax planning opportunities. For example, a corporation can retain earnings within the business, potentially lowering the shareholder's personal tax burden. Additionally, certain business expenses can be deducted, reducing taxable income. So let's now discuss the cons of corporation. Number one is complexity and cost. Establishing and maintaining a corporation is more complex and expensive than a sole proprietorship. You need to file articles of incorporation, draft bylaws, and comply with various regulations. Additionally, ongoing compliance requirements such as holding annual meetings and filing corporate tax returns add to the administrative burden. Second is double taxation. One of the significant disadvantages of corporation is the potential for double taxation. What I mean by that is that the corporation pays taxes on its profits and then shareholders pay taxes on any dividends received. However, this can be mitigated through careful tax planning. Number three is less control. So if you incorporate and issue shares to your investors, you may lose some control over your business. So shareholders have a say in certain business decisions and you may need to answer to a board of directors. This can be a downside if you prefer to have complete control over your business. Number four is profit sharing. So unlike a sole proprietorship where all profits go to the owner, a corporation's profits must be shared among shareholders. This can dilute your earnings, especially if you have multiple shareholders. So given the pros and cons of both structures, why might someone choose a sole proprietorship over a corporation? So here are a few reasons. Number one is simplicity and flexibility. If you're starting a small business with minimal risk, a sole proprietorship offers the simplest and most flexible structure. You can focus on building your business without getting bogged down by complex legal and administrative requirements. Second is lower cost. So for businesses that don't require significant capital or complex operations, the lower cost associated with sole proprietorship can be a significant advantage. You can allocate more resources to growing your business rather than dealing with compliance and regulatory cost. Number third is direct control and profits. So if you value complete control over your business and want to keep all profits, a sole proprietorship is the way to go. You won't have to consult with shareholders or worry about splitting profits. Number four is personal touch. For many small businesses, especially those in service industries, the personal touch and direct relationship between the owner and the clients are key to success. As a sole proprietor, you can maintain that personal connection, which can be a competitive advantage. And number five is uh, short-term goals. If your business goals are more short-term, or if you plan to operate on a smaller scale, a sole proprietorship might be the best fit. It allows you to start quickly and easily. You can always consider incorporating later if your business grows and your needs change. All right, so in conclusion, while both sole proprietorships and corporations have their benefits, the choice depends on your business goals, risk tolerance, and growth plans. A sole proprietorship offers simplicity, direct control, and lower costs, making it ideal for small, low-risk businesses. On the other hand, a corporation provides limited liability, access to capital, and continuity, which are crucial for larger, growth-oriented businesses. So ultimately, the decision is yours. Take the time to consider your current situation and future goals and choose the structure that best aligns with your vision for your business. So thank you for your attention and I hope this discussion has provided some clarity as you navigate this important decision. If you haven't already, kindly consider subscribing or smashing the like button so it can help this content reach to more people like you. I'll see you in the next video.